As Southwest Airlines cancels thousands of flights this week, this Omaha family is among the many travelers left scrambling. And for them, being stranded is more than just an inconvenience. Good evening, I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Bill Shamert. Rob is off tonight. Four-year-old Kyron has frequent seizures and uses a feeding tube. His parents say they packed an extra three days of medication for their trip, but because of the cancellations, they've already used it. Well, now they're paying out of pocket to get their son the help he needs and to find a way home. KETV Newswatch 7's Abby Peterson is live. Bill and Julie, the family says this was the first vacation they've taken with Kyron, and they came prepared, but two canceled flights and being stuck in Texas is something they couldn't have imagined. Family photos capture a fun and memorable Christmas getaway in Galveston, Texas, but trying to get home wasn't so picture perfect. We happened to check the flight status and it was canceled. That was Monday. Aubrey Ross says they booked another flight for Wednesday. Then that also got canceled and things got serious. Meanwhile, we're just like, my son medically needy, so we have like, he's too bad. Aubrey Ross's four-year-old son, Kyron, was born at 22 weeks and relies on being tube fed. The habit to feed is where he gets all of his, uh, all the nutrition from. Ross says Kyron also takes regular medication to keep his seizures at bay. Ross says they even came with extra doses, but after two canceled flights, their extra supply ran out. My sister will be able to um, next day uh, some food for him. With his doctor, we were able to get us some prescriptions sent down here. So we had to pay, for, we were to get that stuff. We did have to pay for all that stuff out of pocket. So it wasn't time for his refills. And more costs have started to pile up. Ross says they've now had to pay over $1,000 in extended Airbnb stays and $500 for a rental car to get around in Houston. I mean, at some point, I can't afford to just keep being in an Airbnb. And while some travelers have opted to make the long trek home in their rental car, Ross says for them, it's just not a risk they're willing to take. If he has a seizure, because even with the medicine, he does still have seizures. I don't want to be in the middle of nowhere. For now, they stay waiting in Houston, hoping their next flight on New Year's Day won't get canceled too. We certainly hope they can get home just very soon. I just did check on the status of Southwest flights arriving at Epley Airfield tomorrow. It looks like all but four are canceled. Guys, back to you.